when I go on stages and, and do my speeches, which aren't really speeches, they're more talks. Yeah. But when I do them, you know, I always get off stage and I think that was stupid. Like all I said, <laughs> the basic common sense stuff yeah. and people, went, and people go crazy. Like I did the 10 X growth conference Yep. and I said, here's the five factors to success guaranteed success. If you do these five things, the first thing you need to do is take a chance, right? Okay. Can't be afraid. You got it. You got to take a chance. You got to yeah. take action. So if you take a chance, that's step one. Step two is you need to be really good at solving problems. Okay. You're going to have problems. Get good at solving them. What do most people do? They run from their problems. Mm -hmm. They hide. They ignore. Problems don't go away. They just get bigger. Get in the habit of solving problems and getting really good at it. The way I did it is I didn't look at them as a problem. I looked at it as a game, as a challenge. Mm -hmm. I like games. I like Call of Duty. You know, I like Xbox. So to me, it was just mm -hmm. a game. Here's a problem. How do I, how do I win? Right, right. The third one is make adjustments. Okay, you got to make adjustments. You can't just keep pounding your face against the wall expecting the wall to come down. Now, step four is train your ass off. Like, pick up books and go through it a million times. Listen to people that have already done what you're trying to do. Get some information, man. Learn. The more you learn, the more you earn. And then the fifth one is never give up. You know, one time back when I was doing acting more, I, I got a role in this show called Knott's Landing. It's probably before your time. Hmm. Anyway, actor named Alec Baldwin was in that okay. TV. Yeah, yeah. This is when Alec just started out. So there was a break in filming. So I got to, well, I mean, I just walked down with Alec to this little restaurant where we got something to eat. And I asked him, you know, give me some advice. Give me some advice. Like, what can I do? What's the secret to being a star? And you know what he said? He said, dude, you know how when you're at a grocery store, you get in line for, you know, let's say you have a gallon of milk and you get in line and then you look over and the other lines going quicker. Mm -hmm. So you jump over to that line. And then as soon as you jump to that line, like it kind of slows down and the line you were in starts moving quicker. <laughs> right, right. He said, dude, just get in line and stay there. And eventually you'll get up to the cashier to, to buy your milk. And it just resonated. Like all he's mm. saying is just keep going. Like, just keep going. Don't mm -hmm. stop. Too many, and, and by the way, that doesn't mean don't make adjustments. It means mm -hmm. never stop going after what you've decided that you want. If you want abs, never stop going after them. One day you'll have them. You might have to change your diet. You might have to change your trainer. You might have to change your exercises, but you'll get abs if you really want abs. But mm -hmm. the biggest thing I would say to, to, to anyone listening to this is figure out what it is that you do want because most people, they don't even know what they want. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, it's easier to get what you want than it is deciding what that is. Like most people don't know what they truly want. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about in detail. You have to understand what makes you happy. What is success? I, I have a, a saying that was quite popular, and it basically said, there is no key to success. It's a combination. And it shows a little combination lock because everyone's always looking for the key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there is no key, bro. It's a, it's a combination. <laughs> right. And the reason why it's a combination is because what makes you happy and what makes you successful might make me think you're a loser mm. and vice versa. Like, what do you consider rich might be nowhere close to rich to me mm -hmm. and vice versa. So what makes me happy and what makes me successful is not going to necessarily make you happy and make you successful. So you have to decide what is it that you actually want? What does success look like to you? Because getting up at 7 a.m. may look successful to you, mm -hmm. but it makes me think you're lazy. I mean, by 7 a.m., dude, I get more done by 7 a.m. than most people get done all day. I appreciate the call out. I do. Hey, in no, two hours when you wake up in the morning, there's yeah. so much you can get done. You can read a book. You can train. You can get stuff out of the way. So it comes 7 a.m., your, your, your rubber's hitting the road. I mean, you're, you're running and gunning at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. You, you're rolling out of bed at 7 a.m., scratching your head, heading towards the mirror, deciding what you want to do. I mean, you could have had that knocked out hours earlier. Mm. Why don't you get up earlier? 
Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm like an in, I'm inconsistent in, in this specific, the, the waking up thing. Um, but <laughs> see, see what I mean? <laughs> no, I know. Self accountable. Like, Hey, there's, there's people, there's people relying on you. No. And, and I, I was going to say like, I, I should make this like a challenge, like for whenever people are watching or listening to this, I'll reference this point as like, okay, this was like someone calling me out and just saying, Hey, like I could wake up and make that commitment of waking up earlier. Well, you know? do you want to, do you, do you feel that you've achieved everything you want to achieve? N- no, like not even close. Okay. So if you, if you haven't reached success, start with getting your ass up two hours early. <laughs> It's okay. uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable, yeah. bro. But you'll see how much you get done and you'll start realizing, holy crap, not only that, after a couple of weeks, guess what? You'll start waking up at 5 a.m. without even an alarm. So right. then all of a sudden you get up and you'll get so much more done and you'll have so much more going on and you'll have so many more opportunities and you'll be like, dude, all I did is got up two hours, two hours. early. Yeah, yeah. But over the week, that's like 14 hours extra. Even work week, it's still 10 more hours, right? It's like 10 more hours to create magic and, and do what I do, right? So, And then go to bed two hours later. When do you go to bed? Um, around midnight-ish, like 11 midnight. I could be a little better. Yeah, me too. So again, if I want to create more time, guess what? I either get up earlier or I go to bed later. Yeah. Or I, or I hire somebody. 